and welcome back everybody to Swooning Over Stands, a Grunkle dating simulator. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. I'm ready to teach you a little bit about boxing there. You know, help your little arms and get you to be just a little I'm, more self-sufficient. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big strong man, Stan. You don't need to tell me. I'm a big strong man. I got big strong arms. I don't need you to work on them, but I don't work on them anymore because I want to spend time with you. Seriously, though, what are you talking about? <laughs> and whoa, someone's looking eager. Yeah, of course I'm <clears> eager. <throat> I want to hit you, Stan. I want to hit you hard in a special way. Seriously, kid, what are you talking about? He, can, he grins through. He grins, though, relieved, and it's like a weight came off his shoulders. Did he think you might have said no? A little bit. You think we would have changed the course of the timeline if we were like, no, I don't want to box? Mm, or do you think he would have been like, hey, you just haven't been boxing with me? Uh, also, very likely. Well, uh, here... From his pocket, he pulls a roll of what looks like to be gauze tape. Before we even do anything, we gotta wrap our hands... <coughs> Sorry, that's the cancer. Lung cancer. <laughs> we gotta wrap our hands properly. No smoking, kids. <laughs> no smoking like Grunkle Stan and looking cool. Yeah. Quote, unquote. Ah, you should pay attention to that. You could get hurt otherwise. He takes... Good... <laughs> Good, uh, wrapping it all together. He takes one of your hands in his, looping the tape around your thumb and winding it around your wrist, and then up and around your hand, wrapping it snugly. He pulls the tape between and through your fingers as they rest on his palm. I don't know why, but I find this kind of relaxing. Almost, uh, zen. I think that's what they call it, yeah. <laughs> Yes, I find it zen as well. It's not at all sensual in, in, getting, in getting me feeling feelings. His, sensual? His what? hand is warm, the warmth seeping into yours as he holds it. It's faint, but you can feel the roughness of his palm, and you watch as he works, confident but careful. It shouldn't affect you as much as it does. You should feel neutral, grateful, nothing more. But when it's him, and the two of you are nearly face to face, the act holds an undeniable amount <clears throat> of intimacy. There's that intimacy talk again. <laughs> Y'all just need a little intimacy. What if Goofy from that cartoon just burst through our wall right now and just bored us right up? Uh, the, there would be. I'd have a lot of questions, and then even more after the the boring. <laughs> I wonder if Alex Hirsch has played through more of this or if he just stuck with the 10% that he played and just went about his day as a busy man. Did he? Yeah, no, he played about like the first 10% <clears throat> of this, so probably like through to the first dating mission. Yeah. So, uh, stealing the car, I think. Hmm. Did he describe uh, appreciation for it? Yes, he described it. He was very appreciative of it. Yeah, I am too. He pulls the tape back around your thumb, then through your knuckles expertly. It feels tight. No, not tight. Secure. Stan finishes the wrap at the wrist, and you watch him pull the tape toward his mouth, clenching it between his teeth. He jerks his head to sever it. The remainder is then wrapped around, snug and complete. And Stan smiles down at his work. He doesn't look up at you yet, but if he had, you would have been embarrassed by the expression that's on your face. Uh, well, uh, <clears throat> hey, uh, trailer, I need the, uh, the other hand now. You didn't notice how tightly you were gripping Grunkle Stan's hand as he finished wrapping your, yours. I did notice, and I'm, uh, <laughs> starting to feel a little, little, little bashful there. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You offer your other hand, and he starts on it. Same as before. This time you watch the act less, and... Watch the look in his eyes more. It's his focus, you find, and care underneath it. You can see it in every pull and twist of the tape. A conviction to protect, to secure. You're so lost in the sight that before you know it, he's done and looking at you again. All right, that's it. Uh, it's not too tight, is it? <laughs> no, not tight. Secure. Oh, um... N nope. B <clears throat> what? What are you talking about? Oh, whatever. 
Then let me show you how you should be standing. Standing? <clears throat> Is there something wrong with your posture right now? <laughs> yeah. You're hunched over like the uh, the hunchback of that that show movie thing. The second one. Not the first one. Oh. Or was it the first one, not the second one? Oh, God. <laughs> Why would you invoke the second one, Grunkle Stan? <clears throat> Stan starts giving some sort of explanation, but the moment he steps up to you and places a hand <clears throat> at the small of your back to guide you, words lose their meaning. You don't want to be too stiff, you see? I, I think that's exactly... Uh, uh, <laughs> he directs you, smoothing out the line of your shoulders, widening your stance, placing guiding hands to show you how you should be positioning yourself. He's talking again, but you're more than a little <laughs> distracted. And that's why we do that. Now, I'm not going to say this all over again. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, good. Now, uh, on to my favorite part, punching. I've got some personal experience with the way you hit. <clears throat> I already apologized for that. Well, uh, what I'm trying to tell you is it, it could use a lot of work, kid. I'm telling you, I barely felt it. It wasn't like when you ducked me and almost drowned me. I mean, if it came from, like, you having to suffocate me or fight me, you should probably just suffocate me, because you're not going to fight me very well. I mean, uh, let me show you how to direct that, that little bit of strength you've got. He demonstrates moving to your right to assume the same stance he's guided you into and swinging through empty air. He does it again, slower this time, for him to explain. How to shift your weight, where to start from, and where to go. Where do we come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Then it's your what? turn, and after a couple of swings of your own, the hands-on guidance is <clears throat> back. Stan's hands first resting briefly at your waist to adjust the twist of your torso, go to your shoulders, nudging you into better balance. Then he corrects the movement of your arms, and his chest is warm at your back as he reaches reaches to show you where to go your breath catches you know uh normally i don't have to provide this much hands-on training but uh i'm not intentionally doing bad that way you'll touch me more yes <laughs> starting to look better there damn you almost had it <laughs> like i guess we'll try it again come back over here and uh <laughs> actually i think it'll help if i had a uh, uh... Um, s something to hit. Sure. Uh, we're Seuss. Uh, we can... Uh, Tyler, you sure you want to go on? You're looking, uh, looking kind of red. You getting a sweat there? <laughs> let me, let me get real close and take a look. <laughs> no, I'm fine. This unexpected intimacy is a little overwhelming right now, and he's still so close to you. Especially after what you've heard at the diner today, that whatever you have with him is, uh, obvious. It has you a little on edge. I'm fine, you put this whole room together and we haven't even used it yet. We should. <clears throat> well, uh, I guess for that, you're gonna need these. Stan wraps his big old manly hands around yours and says, I'm gonna be your boxing gloves now. <laughs> <laughs> Guide us through the motions. This is called armored fist mode. <laughs> <clears throat> I've been working on this one with Sixer for a while. <laughs> but his hands are about the same size as mine, so it doesn't work really well. But your hands are perfectly small enough for me to wrap my whole big old fist around them. <laughs> you got some small, delicate hands there, Tyler. <laughs> okay. He holds up a pair of standard, albeit a bit old, boxing gloves, handing them to you. You shake them a little bit, and you see <clears throat> two horseshoes fall out of each one. And that's hey. why you had some trouble putting them on. Hey. Plus, they're a little big. Never go into a fight where you're not guaranteed to win. <laughs> that's how I made my first uh, hundred dollars. <laughs> Hold on. Let me do it. I'll lace them up for you. Plus, uh, I don't want you to knock anything else out of there. Wait, what? He <laughs> takes your hand again, like earlier, pulling the laces of the glove tighter and tighter until the fit is snug. Is that... Um... <clears throat> so, uh... Is, uh, is that too tight? No, not tight. Secure. <laughs> I was waiting to see if you'd say anything, because you're, uh, you know, you're all red, and you kind of sweating like Dipper does. I don't know what's going on with that boy. <clears throat> kind of sweating like Dipper does when he's looking at Wendy. 
And also, kind of how whenever he looks at Mabel, too, it's a little weird. He ties it off into t- your <laughs> other hand, creating <laughs> in your own for a moment before his hands move up, brushing along your wrist. He pulls the laces together, and as he does, you steal a look at his face. <clears throat> There's that same focus, that same care. The longer you stare, the more you feel heat rushing to your face, turning it red. Uh, how about that? Mm. Look, kid, I'm a little worried. Are you are you having an allergic reaction to something? Is it the uh, the asbestos in the walls? You know, I heard that ex- the uh, extra asbestos is good for heating. And saves on money. <laughs> it feels perfect. Uh, that's good? <laughs> Let's move on, then. And we'll move on in the next episode. So thank you, everybody, for joining us in this iteration of Swooning Over Stands. We hope you're enjoying our romp through this visual novel's world, because we're enjoying our romp through it. And we can't wait to see you later, because remember, every video is a party, and you're all invited to the next one. See you next time. Thank you, and have a good night.